Now, there is a topic that my subscriber base loves asking about. Step one. And I get a variety of comments, but there is one that floods my comment section in my inbox, which is what question bank should I use? So in this video, guys, we are finally going to answer that question. At the very end, stick around because if you want all of your step one questions answered in one resource, I will tell you how at the very end. So stay tuned. But first, let's get to that. Alright guys, what is going on? Lunch here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your journey with less stress. Now, if there is a step one question you guys love asking about, it is what QBank to use to help study for step one. And finally, I'm gonna get to it because you guys have been flooding my comment section. Literally, it's just question bank, question bank, question bank. That should totally be a song. Uh, but we are going to get into it and I'm going to give you my top three QBanks that I love using. I'm going to give each of them a grade as well as recommendations on how to use them. So let's get into it. Now, my favorite and the first QBank that we'll be talking about is USMLE RX. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably expecting me to talk about UWorld, but we will in this video. But USMLE RX is my favorite for several reasons. One, step one is a very scary test. And to make it a little bit less scary, you want a resource that can help build your foundations and help build that confidence. That's really where people struggle, is just getting to that steep learning curve that you have to when you're prepping for the exam. Now, the advantage that comes from using USMLE RX is it's made by the same creators of First Aid. So when you read the book, if you're a student like me who can't really take all the information in First Aid and memorize it, then you can use both First Aid and USMLE RX to really nail your foundations because First Aid has a lot of the high yield material that will show up on the test. So USMLE RX definitely gets an A in my book, has over 2,400 practice questions, and it's by far the cheapest of all the question banks that I'll talk about in this video. So it's perfect for students studying during their first and second year of med school. Now, the second resource that we'll talk about that a lot of students will use is Kaplan. So Kaplan is, again, another question bank that has about anywhere from 21 to 2,400 practice questions, which works really well. Um, the one caveat is, is that Questions are a little bit more detailed, they're a little bit more tough. So when I would say USMLE RX that we just talked about are probably a little bit easier than the actual exam. I would say Kaplan is a little tougher than the actual thing. So in terms of grades, especially after using it for a few months during my second year of med school, I would probably give it around a B to maybe a B plus because the questions are a little bit more difficult. And I think in that first phase when you're studying for step one, with your classes, you kind of want something to just kind of build your confidence again and to help you nail down the high yields. The nitty gritty details are probably not necessary. And let's be honest, everyone uses the next resource that we'll talk about during step one dedicated, which is UWorld. Now, I'm talking about UWorld, I will point this out. You should not be using UWorld prior to your step one dedicated. Unless your dedicated is not enough time to prep, I would not start using you for a few reasons. One, it's extremely expensive. Currently, while making this video, you world is about $399 for about 90 days. That's pretty steep for a question bank. Now, with that being said, it's also one of the most realistic question banks you can have to help you prep for step one. So with that price tag and with only that limited amount of time frame, you don't want to use those high quality questions to help you during your initial part of med school. Instead, you would want to be using other questions to help build your foundation and then use you all to really nail down the information that's necessary for the exam. So again, in terms of grades and those three, I would put you old as like an A to an A plus because it does the most realistic job of helping you prepare for the real thing. So USMLE would be second and pretty close to you old. And then Kaplan would kind of fall down and still be number three. So now let's talk about how to use the different question banks. So first let's talk about if you're new or if you're a first or second year med student, you just have some time before you're dedicated. I would recommend checking out USMLE RX. And if, especially if you try to use first aid with your classes, you're just not sure how to, USMLE RX is a good supplement to it. Because what you can do is, let's say you're on your cardiology block as a second year med student, you can just do cardio questions on like one afternoon or half day of the week and practice your step one studying that way. And that way you can build your foundation that first aid is trying to do, but doesn't always do the best job. Um, so you're basically quizzing yourself on first aid with practice questions that are board level. 
Then when it comes down to dedicated, switch over completely to UWorld. So once you finish UWorld, there is one of two things that you could do. And I know this is a question some of you guys may have, which is, do I do UWorld a second time during my dedicated? Or should I use another question bank during my dedicated? Well, surely you have two options. You can do it a second time and it works really well for students who may not be able to memorize those 2,400 questions. So again, you can work on quizzing yourself on some of the most realistic yet challenging questions for step one, or you could do option two, and this is what I did, which is switch over to USMLERX to build your confidence again going into testing. Now, I'm a student who thrives upon confidence building versus knowledge building. So if I felt that my first five weeks of dedicated did the trick, and now I just need to make sure I can like get out of anxiety mode, I would switch over to USMLERX during your last week or two and just focus on building kind of your confidence that you know the basics because then you can go on the test day and say, yep, I know the gimme questions I'm going to get and the tough questions are going to be tough for me and everyone next to me. So again, it's super valuable uh, if you thrive upon that confidence building. So that is how I would structure step one study. Again, USMLER at the start during your first and second years, um, doing you all during your dedicated. And if you still have extra time, one of those two options, either do you all again, or you can still do like your missed questions on you world or completely switch over to RX and build your confidence. And that's basically how I would use question banks at least to study for step one. Now I mentioned at the start of this video though, that if you're interested in similar questions to that or other questions on how to do well on step one, then in the link of the description down below, if you're interested, check it out. I'm basically wanting to make you guys a collection of videos answering every single question you could have about step one, such as how to study specific study strategies, advanced study strategies, how to manage your time, study schedules, and so much more. If you're interested to fill out your information and give the questions that you would want me to answer, and then two, make sure you hit that like button on this video. That way, if we get 50 likes, I will finally start making those collections. So make sure you guys check out the link in the description down below. But with that being said, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for videos on a weekly, if not more frequent basis. Drop your questions down below in the comment section. I will see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Toodaloo.